Brock Lesnar is now being erased from history, but let's not forget the funniest moments from the Beast's career, like when Brock admitted he doesn't watch Monday Night Raw. Tell me you heard what Roman Reigns said about you. The guy never shows up. He never has time to actually come to work, but oddly, he has plenty of time to show up to the UFC. Obviously, I didn't, Paul. I don't watch the show, Paul. Why would I watch the show? You need to hear and see. That was my exact reaction when Cody Rhodes lost to Roman Reigns. On the topic of Paul Heyman, there's a very good reason why Heyman did all the talking for Lesnar. Less than a year into his first run in WWE, Lesnar was betrayed by Heyman and the Beast on his own for the first time. That meant that Brock also had to talk on his own and the results were... Because of you, Bill, I can't sleep at night. Not good. However, things got worse when WWE tried to make Brock Lesnar a good guy. During his first WrestleMania match in 2003, Lesnar infamously Watch a shooting star press. Two and a half weeks later, Lesnar addressed his near-death injury, and it was something. Did you see that? I landed on my noggin. Nobody's ever kicked out of an F5. They hurt, Cole. You can see why WWE got Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman back together. Now, in fairness to Brock, he did get better on the mic later in his career. Perhaps his best and funniest line ever said was what he told Heath Slater. On Raw in 2016, Paul Heyman and Lesnar were in the ring, doing what they do best, hyping up Brock's upcoming pay-per-view match. They didn't get to say much though, because Heath Slater apparently had a death wish and interrupted them. Heyman tried to brush off the one-man band, but Slater stood his ground. Heath was in need of a WWE contract and wanted to have a match with Lesnar to earn one. Heath Slater started explaining that he had kids to feed, and at first, it seemed like the Beast was going to show some humanity, but this is Brock Lesnar we're talking about. I don't give a about your kids. Oh no, not smart Heath! And an F5 to Heath Slater! Yes, I am going to hell for laughing at a man trying to provide for his family, but at least I'll go happy. Now this is an example of destroying someone's career with your fists. A few years later, Brock demonstrated how to end someone's career with just four words. On Monday Night Raw, Mustafa Ali was doing an interview discussing his upcoming match against the Intercontinental Champion, Gunther. This was Mustafa Ali's biggest match of his career, and he discussed how it had been his childhood dream to become the IC Champion. This heartfelt moment was destroyed by four simple words. And become the Intercontinental Get a life, kid. Not surprisingly, Ali was released four months later. Now this is all part of the script, but this next moment was not, and it's pretty funny. After winning his second WWE Championship in season three, Brock Lesnar's first challenger was John Cena. The two went head-to-head -head at Backlash with Lesnar reigning supreme. While Brock's hand would be raised, his belt would fall, literally. On the following episode of SmackDown, Lesnar's making his entrance when the WWE Championship fell from his waist. WWE actually edited this out of the episode and replaced it with a different shot of Brock. While WWE may want us to forget, something this funny will always be remembered. Another funny moment was when Brock Lesnar suddenly became Triple H for a split second. Enjoying all the finest, maybe not the finer things. I don't think he liked that vintage. He spits that all over the place, throws the bottle off the wall. Now, if not caring about Heath Slater's kids isn't Brock Lesnar's funniest line, then this next one is. After winning the 2015 Royal Rumble, Roman Reigns was prepared to take on WWE Champion Brock Lesnar for the first time. The setting could not have been bigger, as they not only competed at WrestleMania, but they also wrestled in the main event. As soon as the match started, Brock easily dominated Reigns. The champ was hitting all of his signature moves, including German suplexes. This led to Lesnar saying his now iconic line, Suplex City, bitch! It's just funny that Brock took the time to diss his opponent like that. Plus the line led to some pretty good remixes. Suplex City, Suplex City, bitch! Suplex City, Suplex City, bitch! Like an RKO, Suplex City came from out of nowhere, but it definitely stayed around for years to come. On the flip side, I'm guessing Brock Lesnar wishes this next moment would go away. While talking might not always be his thing, Lesnar's arguably the most intense WWE wrestler in the ring. Except when he goes from sounding like a beast to a kitten. It's hilarious for a pretty obvious reason. The beast Brock Lesnar is being someone senseless and then he goes, it's not just when he's fighting either. Brock Lesnar's voice cracks even happen when he's on the mic. Let's do this. These moments are just hilarious. And what makes it even better is the fun fans have had with Brock's voice hiccups. During Brock Lesnar's first feud with John Cena in 2003, Cena said this. Hey Brock Lesnar, here comes the pain. God, build me strong. Forget to give me brain. 
John Cena kind of ended up being right. In 2019, Brock Lesnar shocked everyone by entering the Money in the Bank ladder match and winning the briefcase. A few weeks after the surprise win, Seth Rollins confronted Lesnar and called the Beast a coward. Rollins tried to get Brock Lesnar to cash in his Money in the Bank contract at that moment, and Lesnar was ready to do it. Before the Beast could make a decision, Paul Heyman read the actual Money in the Bank contract, which states that it's good for one year. Apparently, this is news to Brock Lesnar. I got a year? <laughs> I guess we shouldn't be too surprised Brock didn't know that. After all, he said he doesn't watch the show. Surprisingly, one thing that Brock Lesnar likes to do is dance. What's even more shocking is that he's actually pretty good at it. The night after winning Money in the Bank, Brock Lesnar put the briefcase on his shoulder and pretended it was a boombox. That was kind of funny. But the next week, Brock Lesnar took it a step further. Brock Lesnar turned his Money in the Bank briefcase into a boombox and started dancing. Unfortunately, the Brock party came to an end at Extreme Rules when Lesnar cashed in his briefcase. While boombox Brock was great, nothing can compare to mariachi band Lesnar. In the lead up to his match at No Way Out against Eddie Guerrero, Brock Lesnar decided to get under his opponent's skin in the most hilarious way possible. Lesnar brought out a mariachi band and walked to the ring wearing a sombrero. What makes it even better is Lesnar's cheesy smile across his face. He even talks in the mic while wearing the hat. Brock did this moment perfectly, and it looks like he's having the time of his life as he dances to the music and conducts the band. The complete opposite of this moment is Brock Lesnar's rivalry with The Undertaker. Time stood still the moment Lesnar pinned The Undertaker at WrestleMania 30. People had a lot of emotion seeing this, most of them negative, so when The Beast and The Dead Man had a rematch at the 2015 SummerSlam, it was pretty tense. After the bell rang, the match was extremely brutal, and Lesnar even got busted open. Still, this match somehow created one of the Beast's funniest moments. After Taker delivered a Tombstone Piledriver, both men lay lifeless on the mat. Brock was the first to get up, and the Beast was actually laughing. Undertaker rose next, and he too was chuckling. They quickly got back to fighting, but it was just such a random and hilarious moment in an otherwise serious match. Well, besides Lesnar giving the Undertaker the finger while he's being choked out. That was pretty funny too. While Brock might not be The Rock, the Beast was channeling his inner people's champion when he made this joke about his opponent. Eight days after becoming a six-time WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar came face-to-face -face with his first challenger, Bobby Lashley. The Beast then decided to have some fun at Lashley's expense. Knock, knock. Okay, Brock, who's there? Bobby. Bobby who? Exactly. It's kind of ironic because WWE now says the exact same thing about Brock Lesnar. After attacking CM Punk in the middle of a match, Brock, Paul Heyman, as well as Heyman's other client, Curtis Axel, went backstage for an interview. The Beast said some pretty typical stuff, but then he ended with this. Paul, say something stupid. Brock did not need to say that at all, but the fact that he took time to take a shot at his own agent is pretty funny. Also, I don't know why, but Brock not blinking or breaking eye contact with the camera for 20 seconds makes it even more hilarious. As funny as Brock Lesnar can be, it's impossible to get the beast to break character, unless your name is our truth In January 2020, Brock Lesnar was the WB champion. The master of the F5 made the surprising decision to enter the Royal Rumble match since he felt no one was worthy to challenge him. In the lead up to the Rumble, the WWE champ crossed paths with the 24-7 champ, R-Truth. Truth announced that he was also going to participate in the Royal Rumble and made a bold statement. You may be a big, big, big man, but I know you will go flying over that top rope, Paul Heyman. Paul oh, Heyman? Brock Lesnar could not keep it together and broke character on live TV. However, Lesnar can get people to break too. After Brock Lesnar defeated Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 19, the Olympic gold medalist had to undergo neck surgery. Once Angle returned, he and Lesnar formed something of a competitive friendship. Hey, Tim. Hey, how you doing? She was talking to me. She was talking to me. To prove who's the better athlete, Lesnar and Angle agreed to compete in a push-up contest. Right before Brock started, Lesnar made a joke that was so funny, it caused Angle to break character. So this is what it's like at your level. That's not funny. Get, get down and do your damn push-ups. All right. Now, what wasn't funny was when Brock Lesnar nearly killed another wrestler in the ring. To see that, watch this video.